Yes, guys, welcome back to the Once You're In, You're In podcast. This is a special Q&A episode. We've got Tim on. If you haven't already, go and watch the, the main episode with Tim. This should come out just it's after. very good. It was good. It yeah. was very good. We appreciate having you on, mate. How, how long was the drive? Two hour, two and a half. Two and a half hours. Big shift, that. That is a big shift. It's, it's for reels, isn't it? It is for reels, yeah. It's for content. What if we don't get any reels from it? Got it. I'll be invoicing you for the patch <laughs> <laughs> no, right, right. So you've got so a question how to get the so, um, I've, I've got a few and then I've drafted down a few so start off when it comes to exercises if you were to have like three exercises for the rest of your fitness career maybe let's say exercise per body part let's go exercise there. per body part yeah so calves let's skip calves yeah um, so hamstrings yeah seated hamstring curl okay what in the hip flexion in the hip flexion what machine which seated ham yeah um, Cybex Eagle. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I don't like the Primal that much. I don't. I love the Cybex Eagle. I almost think it's too high for me. Okay. The yeah. um, your foot pad. Yeah, Cybex Eagle. All the, the live fitness one's good. But yeah. I, yeah, I'd go Cybex Eagle. Leg, uh, quads, um, leg press. I'd probably go. The one I'm loving at the minute is the Jim Leco linear leg it's press. I think it's great. It's okay. so good. I do integrated partial on that. And I it think is it's, really I think good. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also love from a pin loaded one. I love the the, the, the VR2 Cybex one. Yeah, it's nice. mm. that's good. Um, and then the the squat press, Cybex squat press is yeah. so good as well. Um, what else we got? Glutes, um, hip extension. Yeah, like a boy about to be hip extension. We're not breaking down the the back. Just do what's your favorite back exercise. So my favorite whack my uh, row is this. Back, yeah. Yeah. extreme back. row. Yeah, you've always got on yeah. really well with that. I've always, when I, I think like of you in our training, I always extreme think of you on that extreme road. I feel like I've it. seen you on that more than any machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I know that. Mate, yeah. My back's been built off that extreme road. Yeah. I hate you when people say that. Put a T-bar in and my back blue. Yeah. But you can't say Honestly, it's it grown off this one <laughs> exercise. <laughs> but that extreme road, I got on really well. I uh, like the extreme row. Um, Just a, a nautilus pull down, probably, would be yeah. my favourite kind of pull down. Biceps behind the body. Mm-hmm. The handle curls. Oh, by Asian. No, by Asian curl. By Asian, Asian curl, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Finn yeah, loves yeah. this. He used yeah. to always say it behind the body. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, up to by about Asian. four by months Asian ago, he just started saying it. And it was like, do you, know what, do you know what I um, did today? What? Do you know what a duffalo bar is? No. No. So you know the barbell where basically if you're doing a flat bench it oh, curves yeah. so you've oh, got more room I didn't know this I was ex- I was talking to a client about this yeah, about so wind and ring I, 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 like, I explained yeah. I was like you know that bar that has like a gap that you yeah, can get so I googled it today yeah. I googled it to find out How did, what did you google com- I get barbell no, I googled bar with bar. extra rom for chest <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and it came up with all the barbell and I was like scrolling down duffalo so like buffalo with a d and yeah so I just Put it into a checking tower. I was like, yeah, mate. So that duffalo bar, I wasn't using that as if I knew what it was. Look, like, I don't know. I've just googled it. But, but you've seen his now. Guy. It looks well. Yeah, he, he he sent me it, and he was like, um, he do you reckon I should do this? And I was like, yeah, yeah mate. The duffalo bar. No, I really LPs know. And the duffalo I know bar. all about it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add that in. Fair enough. So biceps, bays and curl. Yeah. yeah. Um, chest duffalo bar. <laughs> <laughs> I only found out about today, but I'm gonna LP on, on L Duffalo. Um chest. Uh, just an inclined press of Atlantis. Sort. Atlantis one's alright, but I don't I don't have it. Uh Mate, reverse band Smith, you loved them back in the day. Uh, yeah. What about your dad how, how and, what about your dad and like in the yeah. barbell in lockdown? That wasn't yeah, in reverse band when I just tore into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did he not know I was on gear? <laughs> 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 yeah, not yeah, some inclined, is, what some happened to my lovely son? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a few conversations like that. Um, it's so hard to pick one. What's a good chest press? I don't even like the prime incline press. We've had. No. Do it, pin loaded like one. Oh yeah, the pin loaded. The, the nor- uh, I tell you what, it's great. It's not really for chest. With the Nautilus shoulder press, pin loaded. Yeah, it's nice. so cool. yeah, really nice. Yeah. Just stack so much on. Yeah. yeah. Um, shoulders, single arm, cuff lateral, lengthened partial. <laughs> Tricep, katana, uh, press oh, style. Your exercise, you've got skinny oh, arms. I think it's game changer. Do you know Good what? Do you do it seated? Yeah, I've done it. Well, I've done it. Do you know what? Finn got standing. some serious yeah. flack for Sissy doing Sissy Junior. Yeah. Really? He, yeah. He, he got like called. a reel up of, of arms from doing it. And the guy was like, why is there, what did he say? He was, was just like, like, no wonder you've got fucking shit arms or something. And then I, like, I called him out on it. And then like, I, I was like, my arms actually aren't bad. And, like, I think I put, I put a story on of like, my, my arm looked quite good. And I was like, Pretty, it was after the A1 when I Proper ate loads of food and I was peeled and I was like really dry. Yeah. 
and I, uh, I like just tagged him in it and he was like oh shit I'm really sorry bro <laughs> clearly you know what you're doing keep, keep yeah, going he was like, obviously yeah, don't like, you obviously know what you're doing that's that. First, they are good they are good actually for chest um, I'd say just probably just an incline double more press to be fair yeah. as a best back uh, bang for your buck exercise yeah. I don't think the best back builder best back builder is incline chest press yeah. <laughs> yeah, but my gym's got the disgusting Watson ones Oh, that are like 10 kilo heavier than an actual oh, the dumbbell. dumbbell. Yeah, yeah. You, you put a 60 kilo, it's like yeah, there's a 10 force the gale blowing Watson in the ones at, um, what do you call it? Warehouse. Yeah. yeah oh, those, those, those. The ones that like they spin a bit. Oh, of oh, you're just yeah, like that yeah. up at the top. So oh. I don't do them, but I would probably say inclined dumbbell. Yeah. Is that everything? That's Pretty much, yeah. 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 It's a good question. Yeah. No. What would be your top three gyms you've ever been to? Any gyms out in Vegas? Yeah, where did you train when you train the same gym as overrated. us? I agree. It was good though. Was I good. tell you what was ace. LV yeah, club. Yeah, LV ace. Yeah. One that, did you go Las to Vegas proper, athletics? Proper club. The other one that I went to. Oh, okay. That AJ went to as well. Yeah, we didn't go to that one. That yeah. one was supposed to be good. Yeah. AJ that said, AJ, we he sat said and AJ was one. like, that's the best gym I trained at. That's what mm. Megan says as well. She said, yeah. that's my favourite gym. The vibe, everything was really, really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that that was good. Um, I went to Elevate as well, which was box standard. Yeah, it? it was all right. All right. Yeah, it was cool. All right. I thought it was all right. Craig Goliath was there. Was he? Yeah. Who did you meet at Dragon's Lair as well? Uh, oh no, Flex. what was the gym where you met Jim Nick Walker? That was Torture. Torture. Was that like? Oh, that was, Panatikit. It was alright. No, it, no was it had M Torture. M, yeah, Torture. M -torture. Yeah. It was like a new brand I'd never even heard of. We thought it was specific to that gym, but then I've seen loads of the gyms have got it now. In yeah. America? No, like, you know, Planet Fitness in oh, Wales. Yeah, They've yeah. got quite a lot of stuff. The Nick situation was hilarious because I walk in, like, we both walked in, and I just looked, you know, when you walk in and, like, I think Finn was doing his membership, and I just looked back and I saw what looked like Nick Walker, obviously, it was. But I honestly thought, because he was wearing he an said oversized to me that hoodie, looks like him. But it looked <laughs> like a skin, because he's not, like, fr frame mate. He's not big. Yeah. He's very narrow. But I know he was like, obviously, like, a week or two after the Olympia, so I was like, Oh no, was it a week or two? It was after, no, it was no, a week or two before. Out, before but it was when, yeah, so he was like pretty much competition league. Yeah. So I looked at him and was like, That looks like Nick Walker, but then I was like, He's too small to be Nick Walker. And then I was like, That Nick Walker? And the guy goes, Yeah, this is Nick Walker's home gym. And I was like, Oh shit, like, it's. It was cool. They say, Don't meet your idols. Yeah. Well, was yeah. I, Keown was at Dragon's yeah. Lane. Yeah. yeah, I was there. Yeah. I didn't even clock him. Oh, did you not? No. I didn't clock him, but then saw he the story. He was a lot of weight, and he. Yeah, and this was a week before. Yeah. But like, again, People are as impressive in real life yeah. as, as you think, and I didn't even realise it was him. Yeah, no, we saw him, and it was like we were literally like, "God, he's he's pretty soft, and it's not." Keon, yeah, yeah. he's pretty. I mean, he was pretty soft still on stage, wasn't he? Yeah. Compared to everyone else. Yeah. Um, yeah, LV Club was was mega in England. I think B Modified's great. Yeah, yeah it was good. I, I like, B -Modified. I like e EP Jungle's good as well. Yeah. yeah, I've only been to the original, which I liked. I I think it's better. I th yeah, I you like the original better. No, I think the new one. The new better. one is it? The new one. I think the new one is similar. It's just it's different it? lighting, different sort of setup. It feels more like a gym. It looks yeah. more. I like I, I liked I liked the one before the the old setup yeah. was good, but I yeah. think it's slightly better. Yeah, now. yeah. Uh, FLF's good. Yeah, yeah. I, I like FLF. Rooms, obviously, the Mecca in it. The hashtag Mecca. The hashtag Mecca. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Anyways. Rezo. It's getting a couple of bits. Of kit, it's not know. bad, you know, Rezo. I haven't, I think, I haven't been in years. I went. But Christmas. I think the worst thing's that the mezzanine floor feels really dungy in there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It just feels, yeah. I feel like it could collapse any second. <laughs> You're walking around like, this is not safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't You're looking up like, I like the eye. It's just like, it, it feels dark, yet yeah. lit in there. It doesn't, I don't, I don't Yeah, like it is it. quite dark in there. It's quite, think, it is quite a dull I think gym. how lighting is and ceilings are really important. Yeah, you don't it really, can make it either yeah. feel like Evo, really small. Like yeah. E yeah. Evolution down the road from here feels like really cool gym. It's got all right kit. It's pretty yeah, good. But the, but like the, the lighting's lighting, good. The roof, like, it's quite low yeah. ceiling. Yeah. It's good. And then it's like gym. King's Gym. Have you been King's no. around Manchester Berry? I think they've got a no. new, they've got a, a real of kit now. But it was, it's a big warehouse, but it was almost this lighting and only that lighting. Okay. And it makes, on spotlights, of just neon lighting. Yeah. And it makes it feel so small and yeah. compact that I just, it's horrible. Yeah. You know, the ceiling's massive. It makes it feel so dingy in there. Yeah. And I feel like Reza with them spotlights, then it's black everywhere else. Yeah. Feels similar. But they've got Cybex kit and uh, pretty good. some pretty equipment going yeah. in, some Jim Lecco going in. Yeah. So. No, the, when good. I went literally at Christmas, this Christmas, I thought a lot better than yeah, the last yeah. one, probably a few years ago. New owners and that now, and oh, is it? pumping a lot of kids. Yeah. 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 What would Wait, you so say your top three gyms are? If you were to. I'm trying to think if I missed it. I want to go to Ultra Light Star. I ain't been yeah, to the new yeah. modified either. Yeah. Well, I've been in it, but yeah. I've not been. Yeah. With the new um, top three. 
I, I, I almost want to put one from Vegas in, but then yeah. I also think they weren't that good. Were you like, underwhelmed of Vegas as a whole? Oh, I thought it was like, it feels like a bad hang up, like a hangover. Like, I think it about feels it. Like and I'm like, yeah, on you, yeah and I'm literally like, oh, it felt fake. It didn't feel like a real place. Yeah. Bro, Everything felt, felt artificial. Felt That's what we said. Nothing. It, it wasn't real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it felt like a very artificial place that yeah. was just like manufactured. It is odd. In. Yeah. But it, I kind of, that, I that could have been that. anywhere. I couldn't get made around like locals living there. I would hate oh, They yeah. didn't feel feel real. How can you live there with it felt like a, like a New simulation. York in Paris next to you. Yeah. Like, that's not. Yeah, it, was a sim- it, was a, it felt like a simulation. Like, it was literally like, this doesn't but feel But I did real. expect it to feel like that. Like, I, I knew it would yeah. be like, based on what I'd heard and stuff. I kind of felt yeah. it would be like that. Two After two days, I was like, I'm done. For, I'm ready for going home. Yeah, yeah I think because we were training. Somewhere else. Yeah. We were training and it was kind of like our normal routine. It yeah. was yeah. like, yeah. quite enjoyable. But like, yeah, well, we yeah, were just we knackered were, by the end. Like knackered as well. That flight home and stuff. It was... Do you fly from Heathrow? Uh, no, it was Manchester, four, it, wasn't it? You're in Manchester. It was literally four and a half hours for us to Heathrow. So you add flights and then times in airports. We were like travelling for oh, yeah. 20 I think it was Heathrow. Yeah. When I got back was. from Toronto last year, that was similar. Like it was like three collective flights. Yeah. It was a fucking joke. Like, yeah, it's it's New York was lovely because New York was only like when I was there in December. It's not far, is it? Mate, it's, it's like, like six seven hours. hours seven yeah. Yeah. Six, six and a half, seven hours. So it's like literally you land and then we were just half hour. I think we're going to do that for Christmas this year. Yeah, I mean, it was lovely. It's really good. good. It's very intense. It's, it's a it? different level of intensity to Vegas, but it's like it's more legit yeah but what makes sense it's pretty not similar but like it's, it's London-y compared to yeah. it's not a mad American experience I, I'd, rec- I'd honestly say Toronto Toronto is better than New York because it's very is similar it? it's just a more refined version you get your bearings New York's so big yeah. like the, and it depends on where you stay because you could stay like let's say in the actual New York City so for example like you've got we were literally just above Central Park so you know like all the Spider-Man films and all that sort yeah. of stuff we were there so like just lower end of Harlem which is quite rough a lot of like blacks and stuff which like is fine in the UK, but like blacks over there, it's quite a lot of poverty driven. No, no, it is. It's like rough black. No, it was rough blacks. No, but I was. It was sound. It was fine. But it was just a lot of like there was a lot of poverty. And unfortunately, in America, like where, no, yeah. where the poverty you is, see it in Vegas. Yeah, it's where like. the black people are. It is a shame. But then, like the actual, let's say, like Central City. I had um, uh, what's the um, Upper East Side and all. Of no, what's the place? And it's like. Um, you got all the advertisement boards on the side. It's like one of the main places in New York. It's slipped my mind oh, what it's called. Uh, oh, I know what you mean. What's it called? Yeah. It's Thingy Square. Time, Time, Time Square. Square. Time, Time Square. Square. Yeah, Time Square. There, like, it's all just entertainers. Like, you literally are walking and you've got, like, people. Like, you there, yeah. you can't see more than a, a metre in front of you. But it's really, really cool. So I definitely recommend it. Like, yeah. December sort of time, like Christmas. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. But yeah, Toronto's really just good. a more refined... By the time, like, New York, you could be there. We were there for 12 days. I still didn't really know my place. Like, I didn't really? know where we were. Yeah. Where Toronto, we were there for, again, like, 11 days. By, like, five days in, I knew New where days. we needed to be, where things are. I like that when you get your bearings. Yeah. Like, you know, about Vegas? Like, you'd go in a taxi somewhere. You'd go a different way the next yeah. time yeah. you're seeing the same stuff and it was almost like a merry-go-round constantly did you think like we said everything in Vegas was 30 well. minutes everything was half an hour away yeah. no matter what no matter the distance yeah, it was 25-30 minutes yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that was because of the, the road work yeah. for the where did you stay? Um, MGM the MGM Grand on the strip the big uh, yeah but like the it's like a, the a signature one so yeah. like the one behind it pretty oh, okay. much. Yeah. it was decent what about right? you? The Virgin Hotel, okay. um, which was a, just a little bit down from the strip, yeah. um, which was like dead modern and new. Okay. Um, like Future was playing there the day after Metro Boomin and Future oh, for cool. Future's birthday is gutted. Yeah. Um, but like, I just when I walked in, I knew probably the same. Like I didn't realize the casinos were going to be in the hotels. I knew the was so literally there, yeah. and I didn't realize that the restaurants were going to be in hotels. It yeah. just felt like you go out for food, but you go for a nice meal, but you're going in a re- in a hotel and then walking through a casino. Yeah, like, it just and it just spends, 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 spend yeah. like it was all just incentivized towards making people feel good for a short period of time, yeah. just spending money. That's yeah. how I felt. Like I wouldn't want to go I out there. Got twenty quid out for some slot machines, lost yeah. it within three minutes, and then thought, how on earth is anyone addicted to this? And then went and spent two. Grand. We did. We we did that, but then we kept getting money out. Oh, I did it. I was like, no chance. <laughs> yeah, we, we we probably at the end of it, we might have lost like fifty quid or something. Yeah. We didn't. Spend yeah, but much, you're not like, thousands. Like, you're not, yeah. You see old men just sat there like yeah. all day losing their life to it, and it was like mental. Right, we've got a question from JP about food. Do you know JP Finn's client? He's a Jack Morgan. Bit. JP underscore MVMT. Oh yeah, loves, yeah, yeah. Loves, uh, some, novice loves some food. Yeah, novice boy. Yeah. Novice boy. Novice, novice winner. Novice winner. Novice loves, British loves food. Loves food. Yeah. Top three fast food fries. 
Five Guys, McDonald's, Nando's, Peri Peri Chips. So I think he's just giving us his he's answer. <laughs> Well, no, I, I would right, say so straight up, I'm a fry hater. I think fries are the most overrated things out there. But I've, five guy Cajun spice fries are elite. Yeah, are I'm so not. Good. Shannon loves chips. I, I hate them. chips. I think it's such a waste. I just don't waste. get them. Yeah, yeah. I just think they're boring. Uh, I, I, I agree. Like, That's the really good. If you're getting yeah. chips from Nando's, what's wrong with you? I've no, I've never had chips from Nando's. Yeah. Do you oh, know they're just really? McCain's chips? Yeah, they've, they've got a shit. deal with you know just what you can buy in Tesco McCain's chips. Yeah. They're exactly the same. They've got a deal with McCain's. And they just put Paris on them. For some reason, they taste better. I think they do. I don't I think, think they taste. I don't think they taste. I would agree with his top three. To be fair, so I'd, I'd say five guys. guys. Second. Five guys. Five Mackies. Guys. Mackies. Oh, Mackey's um, fries are awful. Well, Mackey's is awful. Yeah. I've never. I, yeah, it's I, not I, just I'm the not joking. Go to I have now. never had. I don't think I've ever finished. A fr- I might have had like you know yeah, when you, you just don't get a ever meal. finish a meal. Nah, I'd li- I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't meal, I'd usually give them to someone else. Come with fries. He buys like three meals. I'd rather eat the fries than the burger. Yeah, I would never eat the If fries. I was at Mackey's, Chicken one spikes. of the one things I'd get, like, it, no, if I was forced, like, to have a Mackey's, I'd probably, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather have, <laughs> I'd rather have the fries in. than having, like, a, a Big yeah, Mac. I agree. Really? I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I wouldn't I want might a Big be missing Mac. out. I think the fries are just vile. No, out of, like, I, if KFC, I was chicken Burger select King, or whatever, chicken nuggets or something, I'd have that. But, like, if someone was to say, here's a Big Mac or here's just the fries, I'd be like, I love the fries. What's the worst chips? Like, what's the worst fries that we could think of? KFC. I've never had it. Yeah, they're supposed to be shit, aren't they? Oh, it's no, like a known Bur- thing. Salty, Burger King just, fries. Burger Kings are awful. Yeah, they are so awful. bad. Yeah. Yeah. They're like fat, know. but they're like they're like soft and soft. The, the, the only times I've ever had Burger King is when you're in an airport and it's like the so only option. It's still open yeah. at like 3 yeah. Yeah. And yeah. every time it's like, that was shit. Yeah. 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 I remember coming back from Tunisia and we hadn't had it for ages. We got Burger King at like 2 a.m. I shot myself when I got in. I was like, I had it. How do people do this all the time? I know. When it tastes that bad. People live off it. Like... It no, but crazy. it's that dopamine rush of like, like Sanaya loves a McDonald's, and I, tr- I like once I literally almost sat down like an intervention. Why do you like McDonald's? <laughs> and it, we came to the conclusion. All the family was around. Yeah. So, no, <laughs> because, no, no, she used to always go when she was a kid with her family. Yeah, so she associated so McDonald's yeah. with like a Friday night treat with the fam. You know, so it's like yeah. I don't think I could never imagine. We've said it before. The only time a Mackey's is acceptable is you get out after a football game. You've got no meals, you've or got to have you've one. landed in, you've and it's to. like I've got no food. Got no, I've got no food, and it's just like oh, it's a Mackey's. That's the thing, though. People I, do, I do that at Celtic because there's nothing open, and that's yeah. the only thing. People don't realise like your upbringing does have a massive, <coughs> massive impact. My mum like, and dad don't eat McDonald's. Yeah, my mum and dad. Like yeah. too fair, it was just like a period of time where my dad would take us to McDonald's, but it was like very, very to rare. get out of the house from your mum. Yeah, it was yeah. literally when my, it was when my dad left my mum. It was. He told you, do it, do it, exactly. <laughs> it was. Fuck, fuck that, <laughs> fuck Penny Kelly. Yeah. But like, go Mackey. Yeah. Mum's doing my head. Yeah, it was. It was like, <laughs> we're like come and pick us up and we'll go Mackey's. <laughs> but like, even then, it wasn't like, oh, this was great. It was like, just because of fucking no, nothing else. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It was like a quick, we're, yeah. he's got us for an hour. Yeah. And then we're going back. Like, yeah, it wasn't long. But yeah, like, like they, dad was only allowed them for the hour, yeah. not the weekend. But like, <laughs> even those even have a visit. Some people and he wasted it on a Mac. <laughs> but some people <laughs> like tragic. some people's upbringing is literally like, yeah. oh, like again, Dude, no, no, you play a good game of football. Let's go to Mac. We got, yeah. we got you a know. question. It was like, what's your favourite childhood meal? And me and you were like, don't know. Like, whereas Josh, it was when Josh Crogan was on, and like he he yeah. like thought of like ones, and like people have these like meals. Oh, my mum used to make this, and it was amazing, and it's like. Yeah, really I high calorie like, or whatever. I had, like, I had, my, I had some of my mum's cooking. My mum can't cook. Like I just had the same food. Yeah. <laughs> like mm. you know, I, I never had takeaways or anything as a kid. Yeah. We'd never get an Indian or a pizza. From, yeah. you know? So I'd never really had takeaways. My mum does cook, but I'd say at sixteen, seventeen, I stopped eating my mum's yeah, cooking. Yeah, I was exactly I the same. Meal yeah. prepping or just start making having bags food. of rice and chicken and stuff, yeah. whatever I could. Uh, but I don't think I have too much of an emotional attachment to food anyway. To even think back, like that makes me happy. That yeah. makes me yeah. or something. I don't think I've ever had that. I like food. Food's tasty, but I don't. It's not <laughs> yeah. like I'm it's not, not the deal like, There's not there. something like Some that. Some people are though, and again, like a lot of the time, it's not. I wouldn't say it's their fault. It's <laughs> just your upbringing. Like if your whole childhood is revolved around food, which for a lot of kids it yeah, is, like it is, yeah. what are you supposed to do if you, it's what you born into? Yeah. You know, every night is a different, exciting meal, yeah. and it's a big thing with the family, and it's like. Every weekend you've got family around for a family barbecue, and then Sundays a Sunday dinner every week. Yeah. Like, we never and had Sunday, Sunday dinner. Dinners around yeah, we I think uh, sometimes I think it's a bit sad that so early on I stopped having because I wouldn't sit and have a meal with my mum. I haven't sat and had a meal with mum and dad unless we've gone out because I haven't lived at home. Yeah. Or when I did, I made my own food. Yeah. That was so insane, like though. that. Sometimes I think it sort of I think that upset my mum and dad a little bit as well. Yeah. Mm. Not because of the food element, just sitting down with the family. I would eat five meals a day. 
and you know that doesn't tie in with a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, does it? Yeah. So it's different. Um, the only time I've probably done that is ever going to like girlfriend's house or something and having a meal with their family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably the only time that I, I can I think sat, of having a proper meal. Yeah, I remember I sat down for like a family meal with Sonia's family, and I literally said like, "This is the biggest table." I, there was like only like six people. It's like <laughs> this is the biggest table I've ever like. This is the most official meal <laughs> I think I've ever had. had. Yeah, yeah. yeah, better not like say a racist remark or say something that could get me in trouble with the dad. And then I just started touching upon like PTSD from like when he was start in the touching war. The dad up. Yeah, and so, oh, yeah, just started touching. Yeah, <laughs> I just started being really inappropriate. Yeah, no, oh God, no wonder Triggering the it. PTSD. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I dropped a fork and shouted, Grenade! He's having flashbacks. <laughs> right, moving on, well, moving on from that. Keep, keeping on food. Um, we usually get asked, like, let's say, again, JP's asked about like food before. Off-plan meals. Yeah. If you've got, I'm not going to say death row meal. I mean, you can. You can say death row. What would you be death row? But what would be your like top, this. what should be your top three, like, let's say favourite and top three least favourite off-plan meals? Off-plan meals. Because you've been I, I, in an off-season slash, like, like, not being a bodybuilder years. for yeah, a long time now. So you're, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty simple. But what would be your go-to? Well, at the minute, what we have as off-plan meal, both of us, is we either make our own burgers and chips. Yep. Or we make our there. own pizzas. Okay. Yeah. I've never made them last pizza. night and it was... It, do you think they taste good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. I think Domino's and stuff like that's awful. I, don't I think they're just Domino's, grease yeah. fest. I think it depends what you get. I like a good Domino's. I don't like think there is a good you, Domino's. I think no, all the time is. you feel heavy and you're no, yeah, But if you go like, out and get, like get a, a good nice, one. thin Italian pizza, yeah. Yeah. then it's I like get rather that. If I, if I haven't had Domino's in a while, but I get a... I get a medium because I think large. I just feel like shit. I get thin base. I get the reju- I get it on a barbecue base, and yeah. Um, yeah, and I like. I really like that. Like, if I was to get, for example, like you say, like a proper Italian pizza, like I wouldn't get a barbecue base no, on that. No, no. But to get a Domino's that doesn't make me feel shit, I'll get that, yeah. and it's like I actually feel sound from it. But like when I see people get a Domino's, it's a large, the just crushed. Get the sides. The sides at Domino's are horrendous. Uh, but I think that's from feeling so heavy. Like we push food, yeah. and even when you're not pushing, pushing, you're still pushing compared to the average person I think having something that heavy that greasy yeah, you know, you just feel you're, you're not horrendous. full from like satiation you're full from like that's so greasy yeah, yeah, it's digestive right. stress like your body yeah, you know it's not what are you doing to I, used to, I used to have when I was like so I was 105 kilos at 16 like I was I was heavy I was pushing up like considerably because I was like I'm just yeah. going to get strong I was having two dominoes a week and I'd have a large pizza stuffed crust and I'd have like five boxes of dough balls and like literally, like, and, and I could literally, I, mate, it was probably four and a half to five thousand calories. And I used to literally sit there, Champions League night, eating, and I'd just be like hating it by the end. But I'd do it, and then the yeah, following yeah. day I'd be like, fine. If I did that now, I'm not eating it's the true, following it's day. It's true, isn't it? it would, you I, you just get, I'd get away with it, and I'd sleep for four hours. Yeah, you were so active as you know? well as a kid. Yeah, I was like, playing football, play football twice every day. a week. I was training every day. Like, yeah. You know, but I and try you're and on think the go, you're now. not just sat doing check ins all day. You're yeah. probably at college and you're moving around yeah, a lot. It would ruin me. It would absolutely ruin me. But I feel like you can get away with it when you're, you're young. So you would say what? Your off-plan meals now would be... Well, that's what I have. I, I, go out for a meal. Do you like sushi? Yeah, like I love that? sushi. Okay. Um, uh, I love, like, Thai food. Yeah. I, I really like Thai food. But when I say Thai food, like, I do like noodles and I do like that kind of Thai food. I love going and getting, like, a full duck grilled and shredded with some, like, jasmine rice. Okay. Like, or, like, a full chicken. Like, that's probably what I will order. Yeah. Which is still pretty relatively yeah. safe. Sushi, Thai... Um, Obviously, like a nice Italian pizza. And what would be your nice bottom tier? Like if bottom tier, you know, anything like, like Mackey's, Domino's. Yeah. Uh, even you know, Five Guys is good, but I never, I have, I've maybe yeah. had one Five Guys, and that was post show with someone yeah. in three, four years. Any kind of fast food, I'm not that big. Of a, I like a Subway. Yeah, Subway's, Subway's are great. Mm-hmm. I like Subway's. Subway is good. Um, I think like the more. Especially the further you get into an off season, the more you want your off plan meals just be quality. Yeah. Like you just want it to be like an actual nice meal that makes you feel good. Yeah. Like good amount of protein, good quality food. Like that's why sushi is such a good one because like you can actually have a good quality meal mm-hmm. and not feel like that was just shit. It was yeah. just pure fats, like really low quality protein. Yeah. You feel horrendous for it. Like sushi, Thai food, plum burrito. Yeah. Mexican, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chipotle in a. Did you have one in Vegas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we didn't. Oh no, 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 no. I've had no. Yeah, I had them in New York. Yeah, well, I, I get a tortilla they're, they're or a barbarito. Yeah, they're in London. Tortilla's now. clear from tortilla. No, sorry, tortilla. Chipotle, Chipotle is, is clear. You wouldn't think it, but yeah. it's, it's, the freshness yeah, of it so is good. different gravy. Yeah. But yeah, I love a burrito. Yeah, but again, it's just more fresh food. Yeah, like even Subway, as much as it's processed meat and stuff, it's still fresher than most. Yeah, than the Mac is. Yeah, than the Mac is. Yeah. Um, I agree. So, what yeah. was the question you? Got? Uh, I had a few more. This is a football question. Um, underrated player and overrated player. Go. 
You got to think of one as well. I got to think of one. Uh, whatever. Yeah, any player currently. Present. Yeah. Or, or you, maybe past and present if you want. Past, okay. Past. Jason Park, underrated. I feel like he's accepted mm, he's now. now people think, oh, right, right. Yeah. He's now properly rated. Yeah. I think, yeah, because I feel like a lot of people, when he was playing, yeah. Yeah, now, yeah, he's underrated when he was playing. It's like, you know, for example, Ferdinand. Darren Fletcher. He's massively overrated now in comparison to in his playing days. Who? People, Rio Ferdinand. I thought you said Darren. No, Darren <laughs> Ferdinand. Big Daz, big Daz. Daz Ferds. No, Rio Ferdinand was a very good player. Yeah, he's But people speak now. of him now like he was like he's the not, best. He was never as good as Rio. As John Vidic. Terry, sorry. Yeah, he's, never, he's better than Vidic. I don't know. He's better than Vidic. Vidic. He was better, he was better overrated. Um, Neymar of all time. Most overrated mm. Do you not think time. that's more frustration because of how good he could have been? Because I think Yeah, like, potentially, but I don't think he's even in the top 20, 25 debate of all time. I don't, I don't think he is. Or even no, I don't think he's close, close to that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he is. No, I no. Think you, can name, you can name 15, 20 players off the top of your head, but I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 Um, Neymar's a good shout. Yeah. I think uh, underrated right now. I'm gonna say N Hazard underrated now because he like think about it. No, he, I was, think he was so over. good in the Premier League, he but had, because he had a he bad had back season. end of his career, you could say Cristiano Ronaldo is underrated now. People talk Cristiano about, Ronaldo is yeah. probably now the most underrated yeah. player ever because they yeah. think of the last people four think years. of 33 to 39. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, he's still getting 40, 50 goals yeah. a year by yeah. one. Yeah. And suddenly, and like all modern strikers are now pretty much imaged that the they, yeah. they, 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 he's shaped a new yeah. era of football. Yeah. But people don't think he was silky and, and, yeah. and could take. I mean, people act like he can't dribble people because like he, he couldn't dribble. after three three knee injuries in his late thirties. Exactly, yeah. but his output was then even better. Yeah. Post thirty to pre thirty, mm-hmm. output yeah. stays in the middle now. Arguably, like, what would you rather probably have yeah. as a top tier team? The output yeah. than actually his inefficiency as, as back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Ed, Ed Hazard. I think he was a. a I think he's over. People now put him in like a. I've, I've seen stuff of. Is he the greatest Premier League player of all time oh, and no, stuff no, like that? No and it's like, I think he's overrated. My, I think yeah. he's overrated. I think he's overrated. Fair enough. I just think it's like his image is almost washed slightly because Damn, he was washed. I think like he, Rooney. I honestly think yeah. he should be. Rooney was done at 28, yeah. but he was also like the best player in the world almost 16, 16, yeah. 16 to that yeah. age, So that's yeah. still 12 years. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else currently who's playing that's that's pretty underrated. So he's going to need more attention. Overrated Van Dyke. No, you don't say that. Trent, yeah, mm, depends on what you class like. Salah, no, number wise, he's, he numbers can't, wise he can't properly argue rated, with numbers. but he's garbage. Yeah. He's garbage. <laughs> you watch him for eight, eight minutes struggle to make six yard passes, and then he takes three on and like it's puts got, it in yeah. top bins. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. And it's where where does that where does that possibly come from? Like his own teammates don't rate him. Have you seen him all? <laughs> when they say yeah, who's the trick, who's the best, who's this? Who's no got the best says, left foot? It was they're Shaqiri. laughing. It was Shakiri. Yeah. 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 They're laughing. Yeah. It was Shakiri who's the best. People would say Robbo had yeah. a better players not just like that though, aren't they? Like they just you can tell they're not technically that good, but they're just think about how the game is so efficient. Like if you had if you had Javi and Iniesta now, football Twitter would literally be like, where's the goals and assists, brother? Javi underrated. Um, Probably. Have you, yeah, did you no. see? You know, Javi like had a season where he had like twenty-five assists and like really? fifteen goals or something. Like, yeah, don't surprise sh- me. A joke. An Busquets joke. Underrated. He gets overlooked yeah. from Iniesta to Javi, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Just because he played a little bit further forward. Yeah. Real Madrid's peak midfield three or Barcelona's midfield three? Casemiro, Cruz, Modric. Barcelona or Javi, Iniesta, Busquets. Barcelona. I think that's a disrespectful question. I think there's only one answer. If I'm honest. What you think, Barca? Yeah. Yeah, it's Barca. That's the best midfield ever. Yeah. Yeah, I, even I would say that. Yeah. But then, but then I think you got to take they won five Champions Leagues together. So it's what like eight leagues versus yeah, five, yeah. eight leagues. What two UCLs? No, but then also versus yeah. like three leagues, five UCLs. So, okay, so let's say best teams, and we'll, we'll move on, guys, in a second. Best teams in like two thousand, two thousand, like seven, eight. I'm guessing most people think in some no AC Milan. Yeah, in yeah. the league, they only yeah, won yeah. one title in that like seven to eight years. Juve. No, Juve and it's Inter just were they winning, so but good. because they were, they got to the final Champions in two thousand and five. Same with Liverpool. People yeah. will think Liverpool were better. Yeah, than they were. people will look back at shit. Liverpool and think because we got to three finals, I guarantee you, they'll be like that Liverpool team was so dominant. Yeah. In reality in the league, it's like gets big yeah, up yeah. as much as Klopp's good, and like this Liverpool team gets big up. They haven't done that. You've done nothing domestically <laughs> by one by yeah. a COVID yeah. league. No, mate, we were twenty five points clear. We were twenty five points clear. Sorry, I just wanted that game as well. So Liverpool that won in two thousand five. Like oh, they yeah. were not a good team. Oh, did you come seventh in the league? Yeah, yeah. Like, fifth, I think. Yes, fifth or sixth. You didn't yeah. qualify. You were qualified no. for winning. Gerard would have left if yeah, we didn't. No, he literally said. He said the day before. Yeah, he said the day before. Mental. It was crazy. But yeah, you take that. Move on from football. Okay. What the fuck were you feeding Jack? I'm guessing he means Jack Hattersley. 
Um, Who's asked that? Uh, Musa, the guy who actually went up against him. So oh. my clients. Um, so yeah, he's asked, "What the fuck were you feeding Jack, and what are you feeding him now?" So we'll ask. So what what was the lowest he got? <laughs> super draw, <laughs> loads of super draw. Just what's the lowest his food tests. got to? Pretty low, fourteen, fifteen hundred. Okay. Uh, a period of time. Yeah. Um, like just pro fat, pretty much on some days. Yeah. And then he was ready so early. He he didn't do any cardio for since his two weeks prior to his first show. I heard that with like Josh pulled it out. Same with Gillen and like they they they'll the condition will improve as they get fresher and just rid some fatigue. Yeah. His his loads were heavy though, I will say that. I think before His androgen loads. <laughs> one day. Yeah. Um his uh his carb load prior to especially remember to the UK FBA Heart of England, I think was close to over potentially two gram of carbs over two and a half, three days. So he, wow. would, he would just soak anything up, yeah. and uh, but I dry him off ridiculously hard. Yeah. Like I would dry him off more than anyone, yeah. and he uh, he would still get a pump, and he would still be full and mm. lose no real fullness. Um, but I think people like that, as you said, even like from his boxing past, yeah. nothing bothered him. He you never said moaned you once. said that at the show, one of the shows. Yeah. You were like, there's some there's something about like having that genetic mindset, I think people predisposed who, to be yeah, lean, disposition like, towards his condition and how well. things are. Yeah. They just battle through it, and he yeah. wasn't bothered. Um, and you know, even when bloods came back, his bloods were absolutely fine after that six month season. Yeah, he had like sixty eight nanomole tests. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 His, was, his, <laughs> his thyroid was absolutely fine. No, yeah. no wonder he's still being able to pull off. Weight so easy, yeah. and people like that are just built for it, aren't they? Yeah. And now, obviously, he's uh, he's assisted and uh, he's 45 pounds up. And what are you feeding now? Is he on a lot of food, or is he three six? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. again, so response is a hyper responder yeah. to, yeah. to training, food, and now drugs, evidently. Do you, as set, well. do you set his food, or does, do you just have like macros? Let's say, no, he has a diet plan, okay? Yeah. Um, he has macros as well, but he, he follows the diet plan, hmm. that's just out of choice for him. He, he, likes, it. he likes regimented, he always has yeah. done. Um, my least favorite time is like post show when like I'm trying to set everything up food wise and I'm like you've got obviously those like not cravings but I'm just like I hate that thought of like having to think about for you or for a client me right, like, myself yeah, yeah. I'm just like give yeah, me yeah, I literally right, will yeah. set my food and I'll be like yeah. this is what I'm doing this is what I'm eating yeah. but then and like if like, you've got like an evening with Sonata I bet yeah. it's like, oh we could change it to this yeah, and, and fit that like, in yeah, it's annoying thinking, yeah so I just like stick to I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I am I'm never work off my I can't imagine anything worse than I eat the same unless I'm going out and I'll track but I think just say that's when you're busy with work as well. Like. Oh, mate. The, like, the if it fits your macro craze, no. you know, like mid 2010s, like, fuck that. Trying to be like, oh, I'm going to fit in three scoops of ice cream and I'm going to have a burrito here. People, like, pr- people prep off it. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's wild. Yeah. Like, so you, they bank the calories till the end of the day. You might to have like, like a protein psychologically ice cream. Mess. Yeah. You're yeah. training first thing in the morning. You've yeah. had zero carb for this amount of time. Yeah. yeah. And you're having salad throughout the day to then have a people do they, uh, they just top. they yeah. forget don't they? they just think that the only thing that matters is calories in and calories out it's like in terms yeah in terms of weight loss yeah but like in yeah. terms of how you look how you feel how you perform, perform like and also like different. as much as you might think it makes prep easier because you're fitting in Doesn't, the food you like it does I, not, I, I think no. it creates eating disorders far yeah. worse than just yeah. following a meal plan i think it makes it harder because you have a taste for it yeah, yeah. You know, people who make cream of rice with two liters and top it with everything and you, when you come out of a show no wonder your stomach's that big yeah. you've, even, you've, you've distended volume, that much your volume is crazy high that right. you're having a normal meal post show and it's not even touching the sides yeah. and that's because you're used to I remember, a four kilo yeah. tub of uh, bowl of cream of rice yeah, exactly. I remember like my first prep Sanaya was like pretty food focused because she prepped at the same time and like she was sat like she was openly like oh I'm so obsessed with food yeah. she did not care she's so not front facing yeah, no. yeah, yeah, and yeah. she was showing me all these like zero calorie sort is how to like volume my stuff and I remember like I listened to her like I let her like make a few meals for like a day or two and I, I've never in my entire life been like oh obviously when I'm really lean the thought of having a meal is nice yeah. but I've never been the sort of person to be like at all fixated yeah. towards food I remember like, thinking to myself I was like, using baking powder yeah. and stuff like, she was yeah she, she, she made me, never, she never made me that, like yeah. a whey thing with like yeah some, some something like to volumize it and it, for the first time in my life I remember thinking to myself oh I was thinking about food like in between meals I was you like do. what the fuck am I doing and I said to Sarah like Stop! I was like, I'm not. I'll make my own food. I'm just gonna because I use my cream of rice. If I make it, I just make it how I. How you I don't, I don't have it watery. It. I just have it normal. Yeah. I keep it just exactly the same. I don't care. I don't care if it looks shit. I, don't, I just eat my food. But she was telling me or showing me all these sort of bits, and it was like hacks. proper They're like. Not hacks. No, it was like almost messing my head up more. Yeah, and it, it was does. like you know. If you're on seventeen hundred calories, yeah, that's seventeen hundred calories regardless of how you eat it. Yeah, like at the end of the day, yeah. so it, it's the same. Yeah, um, and I also think like, you know, when you're programming. 
or yourself, you're on such little food that you've got like 100 gram of carb in the day or 150, and you've got yeah. like a 40 gram portion of rice. I think you feel way worse on that than just like pro fats. Yeah. If yeah you, you don't have it, just go you don't you think have about nothing it. nothing to look forward to. That's it. But yeah, when you have yeah, a little bit, yeah. you're like, I want more. Yeah, yeah. I you want have nothing to look forward to. You sound you're just yeah. like, oh, so much. Just, just, I think yeah, on a rest day, it. on a rest day, you'd be better off on trace carbs than 100. Than 100. Whereas on a training day, yeah. you obviously yeah, yeah, like, you feel a lot better for it. But yeah, on a rest day, like I found that when... If you just pull it and deal with it. When I was on like probably like 75 or 80, I'm thinking like, why am I even having that? Yeah, it's literally pointless, isn't it? And you just want, you just dissatisfied at the end of the meal yeah. that I want a little bit more rice or yeah. better off with just literally having a little bit more fat and, and sticking it on the training day yeah. yeah no exactly compounds PDs what's your favourite favourite EQ yeah. Um, oh, I love you. <laughs> I love my red blood cell count being through the fucking roof. Yeah, Bro. come out of crit being too high. Who needs to give blood? I just give it to the dying kid in a hospital anyway. Um, test. Obviously. I love tests. Um, and I, oh, bro, unless it's unless you're talking like creeping high um, a, a engine load, I will always just use mast over Primo. Yeah. Um, I think unless it's unless you're running a lot, I think it's still as just as benign from low from low dosages. Yeah. And I think a a lot of Primo is fake. Mm -hmm. B you've got to pin twice as much. Yeah. And I can't be bothered with with pinning twice. More expensive as, much. as well. More expensive. You pain more. The it pip, could be fake. Uh, the the pip, pip can be a bit more aggressive. Pinning more. Yeah. And I think unless like you're talking upwards of like a gram a lot, yeah. I think then just split it and split the ratio between yeah. the two. Yeah. Um, I've had real good success with people slim. like splitting just mast and primo. Like yeah. One to one. Well, literally. Say one point two gram, like eight hundred yeah. and four hundred. I think yeah. it. I think it works far yeah. better. But lower doses, I think just mast yeah. works. Much, much better. Uh, you like your, your nose, don't you? You like an MPP. I don't like them. I put them towards the latter end of yeah. a cycle. Like the latter end of a push, like the last like eight to ten weeks. Yeah, I'll put something yeah. in like that. But that's just, a, again, another pathway. And usually it's because Primo will just get quite high and I'm, yeah. like, I'm spending yeah. a fucking fortune on this. Yeah. And then GH will just be escalated when appropriate, you know. And yeah. then to be fair, the only things I like, I like let's say Lantus, like let's say no rapid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, like, I like Lantus. I'm not a massive fan of like fast acting. I, I think not? I've used it moderately but only for a brief period of time like my insulin sensitivity is usually like very yeah. very very good like i rarely ever have any issues and i never think to myself oh, i need like if you if you let's like, say for example have you taken like no rapid post-workout uh, i do yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. do but you've trained yeah you haven't ate food for a good amount of time yeah you're your ability so to sensitive. uptake yeah, yeah, yeah I, so i almost question do you re i think pre-workout yeah i think post-workout in my opinion unless the meal is like 300 car yeah like I was as a fucking natty getting in like 350 grams of cereal and like my insulin sensitivity was still sound. I like, think you've got to look you know, at a lot of drugs in that respect. That yeah. Someone will panic about I can't use clen or using this and that and you, you sit there and you get natties peeled with minimal muscle loss or you've got a natty pushing so much food. Mm. They are just at the end of the day a little bit of an add-on unless you apart from your normal um, androgens yeah. you know the thing like your Nova Rapids and like your clen your inbinds they yeah. make a difference but they're not absolutely necessities. No. No, no. Uh, but I think more using over rapid. I think you like. Yeah, I think you got to treat that as using it as a, a super physiological yeah. response, yeah. as opposed to you know your Lantus using baseline as a prophylactic. Yeah, yeah that's using it. And yes, you don't need no rapid post workout, but yeah. the, you're using that. As I say to clients like I'm not using Lantus with somebody to make it like it's not a PD. It's a, it's a health. It's not. Yeah, it's I'm not trying to enhance performance. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. okay, you get you feel a bit fuller. You'll yeah. probably be maybe a bit. Pumps will be great. Yeah, you'll be really full in the gym. But like we're not. I'm not utilizing this to be like, hey mate, you're gonna put on. Like ten pounds a month. No, yeah, yeah, nutrient partition is not that that's much what better. People yeah. think of it as though, it's but it has it's got a stigma. Though, like, yeah. gonna put slin in, and that's because oh, of abuse. I've people had, like, had, I don't yeah. want to touch no, slin. I, why I are you like shuttling you, yeah, eight hundred on my car? Haven't had the right to use that. No, but it's like I, I said to if a client. If I'm time again, I'd have GH in way yeah. earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I said to a client about talk, like literally slin and GH, and they were like, I haven't had the right for that yet. And they were like pushing, let's say, dosages to the point where it's like getting over a gram. And I was like, honestly, mate, like you're you doing what you're doing, PD Better wise. Actually you're actually it. like, if we're just going to be keep driving this up because he came to me and he was taking way too much for where he was. Yeah. I was like, so let's say I'm not going to just. I scaled him down a bit, but I was bringing him back up. And this was after literally a whole like maintenance period. Dropped his body fat down, and I was I, I was driving dosages back up. And I said to him like. In what you're doing, I can't remember the exact analogy, but it was like There's I, I the said something. To keep yeah, I, no, I said like in comparison, it's like I literally can't remember the example. But I was like, if we're looking at the negatives from your PDs, let's say androgen-wise, and then you're being worried about things that are actually going to help and yeah. get less out of what the burden of the peds are doing, like you're worrying about the wrong thing, bro. You're worrying about a different. Like we're actually trying to help and not 
just shaft yourself by taking It'll two slam rounds of gear within a pathway, year. and then it yeah. slims you into the terror, the terrified to use. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's ridiculous, but that yeah. just comes from it's just lack of education, lack of education, and then like actually abusing yeah. these kind of substances. What as are well. your thoughts regarding GH? Like around, let's say, potentially in a prep based setting, fasted? Would you split it up? Where, what split would you? It up. Okay, so what would be a sort of protocol that you'd say maybe in a prep and then in off season? What would you be looking for? Depends on the dosage. If you're okay. looking at say like four IU in an off season, yeah. AM PM. What two two? Yeah, two yeah. two. Or if you then you know six, you can go two IU uh, pre workout as well. Yeah. Prep, you know, again, n nowhere near as high, but I, I really like to use the synergy of L-carnitine, yeah. your himbine, clean GH, fasted in the morning. Yeah, um, I was doing that. Mobilize, yeah, yeah. transport, and then oxidize yeah. the fatty acid. And then again, 2IU pre-bed as well, just yeah. from a fullness perspective. Yeah. And then um, it depends on the client, if I'd pull it or keep it in on show day. Yeah. Uh, it's like your himbine. I'd always pull your himbine, but in terms of growth, some people retain so much fluid off it, that the amount of fullness it brings doesn't warrant keeping it in. Yeah. And you can really almost get that fullness back from food or yeah. from like other orals. Uh, but some people don't hold that much fluid off GH and there's no point actually taking it out because you yeah. just get a great fullness benefit from it. And then L-carnitine, that seems to be the, like, I feel like- I, I, don't, I, I only use L-carnitine when dieting. Chatting about it. Yeah. Only because I, can't, I just made another pin. Yeah. I can't I, be I've had other clients, even Natty clients, being like touching upon it. And I said, I was like, if I wasn't taking GH, I wouldn't pin it. I can't, no. I can't be, it's not worth it. No. But Additionally, I used it in 2022 for the first yeah. time, and I was like, okay, it's all right. But like now, in it seems prep. to be no, no, I didn't prep in 2022. In the it was, I, I started using it when I did my little tidy up, and I just wanted to use it. Yeah, literally, I wanted to see. I do notice a bit of a benefit, but nowadays, because of you know, you've got that engineered muscle, that Riz engineer, yeah, Riz engineer, mate. and he's got. It's even like he's bringing up products without. Well, I'm sure the products are great, but yeah. I'm not slandering it. But like for me to pin a pump pre workout, yeah. like you can what pin like. Choline. Okay, yeah, it's, co yeah, it's uh, choline, L carnitine, and then uh, ATP. Citrulline, L malate. There's, 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 yeah. there's citrulline in it, I swear, one yeah. of them for a pump, but then you got one with ATP, yeah. literally pinning ATP. Yeah. And, mate, I can't, I'm already pinning enough a day. I yeah. can't have to, I think to, it gets stick to that in my bicep before yeah. I train. No, I know, yeah, they're doing like intramuscular of what they're training. Like pump products, like, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I think that's taking it too far for me. Yeah, I think it gets to a point where I find like, okay, I'm training my quads. Okay, but you yeah, left, no, right. You know, 10 years' time, that could be just the norm. Like, yeah, it, yeah it, it could be, yeah. But then, like, what? How many? How many times do you pin a day? Oh, too much that I don't want to. Five, be six, seven, depending uh, on compounds. Yeah, potentially, yeah. Uh, another eight, nine, ten. <laughs> no way. I have like, a poo way to have time. Like, I honestly don't know how how yeah. I'd do it. I wouldn't. I, it's I, not I can't like, think I don't, of. I don't, I don't like. I don't enjoy pinning it. either. Like, no. it's a burden every day yeah. to then want to do it pre workout. I'd rather just have mega pull. Yeah. And like, okay, okay, Tim 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 you missed out, fantastic. <laughs> no, but I'd rather have a pump product yeah. than actually yeah. to pin into it. They're such muscular. small things as well. Like, uh, I guarantee as well, the people that are doing that, they're not the top level pros. Yeah. They're the people who aren't sleeping that well. Yeah. The training's average. The thing like, this is the missing. This yeah, is, this oh, is that'll sort me out. No, you, you need to be more consistent. You're training shit. You sleep shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know where I'd have the time to do it all anyway, but like I also just think just do it in one barrel once a week. They're all <laughs> do, do ten barrels <laughs> <men, laughs> all together. Ten, ten million, you don't be fine. But like, oh yeah, ten, just get so the biggest I'm a barrel. Shit pinner as well. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm awful. I'm sore non-stop. <laughs> okay. I'm. So, I just can't, I've never been able to pin well. Yeah. Um. So fuck doing that as well. Yeah. What, the amount of lumps I get on me from pinning non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. Dreadful. Yeah, not good. I honestly couldn't think of it worse. Like, no, but you're a natty, bro. So no, but it's not even that. I'm not scared of needles or anything. I just mean like it's just a ball leg. It's a ball leg. That's what it means. Yeah. A burden every day to. Like, I do. I don't think I do my of food. Pre bed, do you? Okay. Uh, I do the first thing. I will. I, I don't think of anything. Until the last minute before I'm getting in bed, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'll have to do it now. Yeah, yeah. I just can't be asked. I like when it, before I go to bed, I'm so chilled that like the last thing I want to do is. That, yeah. like, but it's not something you need to amp yourself up for. No, no, I'm not no. saying that. I would, when I first did it, I treated like, like a dog, bro. Yeah. I don't mean I that. Yeah. like a dog, yeah. and then I was like, "I'm gonna die." <laughs> That's gone in a vein. I'm dying with a blue in my arms. I was like, <laughs> 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 at uni, <laughs> went into my mate's uh, mate's room. And I was like, "I'm dead." I'm <laughs> dead. Yeah, I find it mental, like. But bro, imagine like I don't pin my glutes because yeah. it's the only one that I don't like. But just imagine turning around and just like for the first time, and especially with yeah. a blue that's that big, going into your ass, like, <laughs> and reaching out and squeeze it in. What in your asshole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. directly that's into your asshole. Yeah. In the asshole, yeah. That's yeah. so where the heroin goes. Yeah, I just think like, <laughs> unless I was so so sure that I was, I wanted to do it. Yeah. Like, I, I just, I don't get it. Like. Mm. If I if I was like right, I'm gonna be 
elite and I'm going to be a top top tier yeah. bodybuilder and it's uh, I've never wanted to be just the biggest guy you know what I mean yeah. I've never I've never thought like oh fucking hell, I wish I was bigger than him yeah. or I want to be the biggest guy I've never really been that arse I like bodybuilding I enjoy yeah. training I like the art of bodybuilding I like posing I like looking good feeling good or seeing your body progress and, and that yeah. but I, I don't get the whole like you know when some people are just like that's what I've got to do like, I feel like you probably thought that didn't you like it's what you had to do yeah to an extent um I'm probably that person who, going off that, shouldn't really take anabolics. Yeah, but you were young and it's but like... I also enjoy taking them and I've never been bothered about night bodybuilding. Yeah. Mm. And I'm aware of the risks to my health and I'm fine with them. And I think like if someone wants to take them, take getting a, a plastic third place PCA trophy or not a placing is irrelevant. Like yeah. You don't have to go on stage to take gear. No. As long as you're fine with, uh, yeah. with the health well, consequences. You you live... Turn around, just have a look at that. If you just want one of those swords... Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, is, it is that your overall you side? Yeah, my overall side. Mate, no one's winning overall. So that was just a tragic downfall. Yeah. Since mate, then. Yeah, mate, <laughs> peaked, peaked. Honestly, peaked. Is your first show? Yeah, first but, show, first yeah. overall. Don't you think yeah. though, if you're like, and the thing is, I bet loads <laughs> of other people feel the same. If it's such a burden, where it's like fucking hard, I don't want to be pinning, and like potentially yeah. you have like, let's say, like morally or with your family, like you've got like yeah, yeah, relationship yeah. breakdown. Like, I feel like unless you are gonna be like or potentially going to be at the top then no, is, it, is it worth it though? no 100% yeah. I think that comes down to how much you use as well yeah. um, but one thing that's highlighted like Natty Bodybuilding is getting so good that it is highlighting that like you don't have to be assisted to be yeah. a good bodybuilder or be pretty prestigious these days as well but I think just that, that people say you know if you're not if you're not competing don't take it no I don't think well, that come last in a, in a in regional yeah. show yeah. that's fine Um but yeah, I don't know. Night bodybuilding for me has never interested me. Yeah. I also think from coaching and understanding, you know, coming from pretty science based background, I think it's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, to learn about as well and 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 use. Uh, but I agree, like it's not. No, you're not. You're not gonna. If you're a crap natural bodybuilder, you're not gonna become a phenomenal bodybuilder from pinning the gear. Yeah. I mean, you have got people that will hyper respond to it, but still, you look at the best natural bodybuilders. A lot of them are like. Yeah. Yeah. Elite, just genetically. Ronnie Coleman it, it? was at the Olympia Natural before he went and gear. Yeah. So it's like, it, it normally shows. Yeah. Well, it's crazy, isn't it? That? Yeah. Right. Is that it? Well, all questions done? Have we done, have we done your oh, question? What was it? Mistakes in peak week. What yeah, would you say? So I'd say the main issue is just not getting them fresh and not getting yeah. them fatigued. Like, no matter what you do, if you've got somebody who's really stressed, fatigues through the roof, you could give them whatever food, like this. People yeah, thinking it's going to be a magical thing. If you, if you could have one thing, it's just get them to chill the fuck chill out, out yeah. and drop off stress. That's going to be way more important than what you're going to do with their fucking sodium or their fluid the day before, or even their carbs, stuff like that. You know? I think it's the same, like, if they're not fresh, nothing's going to work. Yeah. And if you're not lean enough, nothing's going to work either. Yeah, yeah but you can't, you nothing's can't, yeah. Work. Too many times people are trying to peak when you're still fat. Yeah, it's pulling like, fluid off when you've got fat and, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, loading saying, through the roof when yeah. you're still fat. It's like, oh, they're saying, oh, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm not spilled because you've already spilled. Yeah. Like, you've not, <laughs> yeah, you've not spilled. <laughs> I'm spilled. Bro. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I spill. didn't even spill. You've not spilled because you've already spilled, yeah. bro. Like, you can't spill more because you've already spilled, man. Like, you know what I mean? Imagine, I had, I had 500 carb and I was fine. Another 1,000 carb was fine. No, it's because you're fat. Yeah. yeah. It's not magic. No. I think it can do a lot. I think people then underestimate that, you know, it's not magic and you can't do a lot. I think you can literally change your physique yeah, you if can. it's ready. Yeah. If it's fresh, if it's lean enough, I think you can really, you know, change your physique. You, know, you manipulate fluid and you can come in dry, full. But I think if, uh, if if you're not fresh or you're not ready, I think it's just keep dieting and move the show back. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a pretty simple way of thought of thinking about it. And then mm. just building food up appropriately and kind of looking at... Also as well, if you're ready early, you'll have data to go off. So yeah. you'll know how things respond. But nowadays, like especially with social media, the amount of times I see someone running a different peak week protocol every single every time. Week. It's like, can't got, ever get the peak right. Yeah, they've done six you, shows, yeah, they you, can't nail a peak. Yeah. But they've it's done like, six different But then peaks. also what's happened with that, usually the first show they've crashed out, like driven into it because they're so fucking, let's say, they're out of shape. So they've yeah. gone so aggressively. They've had two to three days to fill up. They've then filled up, they've spilled over massively. They've done one show, they're then into another show. And it's like, it's just a car crash of trying yeah, to like yeah, catch yeah. up upon your mistakes. And a lot of times, especially preps, like I took over um, a few preps last year and it was like I was literally just correcting mistakes I wasn't coaching I was literally just saying right this is what your previous coach has done this is what we need to do yeah and it was almost like I wasn't uh, I had a guy called Sean start point now like, yeah 10 kilos pulled off within three weeks because he was so out of shape and I said yeah. to him if you're shape mate you should not be 
like finishing dead last at a show. Like you should be doing well. You should be in good condition. We'll take you, know? you off between your shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. And then he, we filled up, and he was like three kilos up. So I thought he was like seven kilos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, he was like filling up, and I was like, you're filling up, but you're out of shape. You know what? Like, it doesn't make sense. I think a lot of the time though, it's just coaches that they either don't give a shit. Or they just don't like they don't, don't understand the, the level required. Yeah, they don't really get like the the conditioning sort of requirements, or they maybe don't see them in person, and and they sort of think that they're leaner than they are. Like when I when I've heard about people having issues, it's like the, the coach doesn't even go to their show. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, so they're not even there to. I think if see them in person, or up. even get that embarrassment of yeah. that's my client and they're well out of shape. They're not even there. Right. Somewhere else, don't care. I think that's yeah. just from caring. Yeah. I think like, we get so invested into it. I'm gutted or I'm so yeah, embarrassed. It's horrible, I'm not, like, I really blame myself, even though you know sometimes it's not remotely. Yeah, you and you, you'll it. see an outlier in someone's athletes, won't you? You'll see everyone's peel, peel, peel and then someone's soft note. There's an outlier. Yeah. But you're absolutely gutted. You're devastated. Yeah. Whereas some people just don't care. It's a paycheck. Yeah, they don't like, they're, they're, no, they're a number. They're not yeah. there and, 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 they're, and they're a paycheck. Yeah. Um, but like that's why I think as well it runs you down so much across the season is because peak weeks are like they're checking in with me daily multiple times throughout the day yeah. I'm at the beck and call like constantly yeah. it's not yeah. just there's your plan for the week like stuff changes throughout every single day yeah. let alone yeah. you've got a 10 day peak week plan given out to you 10 days out yeah there you go you're fine. I remember like, sodium's up. coming down on the Wednesday like <laughs> calves yeah. still going in I woke, I woke up once like I said well, I did it all the time I was like go for a wee in the middle of the night and I'd literally wake up and think to myself, I wonder what Josh's food's going to be in the morning. You do, right? don't you? you? Know? And it's like, Constantly it, on yeah, it's so like... You I don't you sleep, just, you're yeah. thinking, but before yeah. going to bed, like, well, if he wakes up like that, he, he, it's not gone to plan today. He's yeah. not as full as I thought, so yeah. what are we going to do tomorrow? Yeah. What's he going to wake up like? Yeah. It is Imagine doing all that and you're competing. Yeah, I know. Like, I was, the amount of times I was just fucked. I was I like, constantly thinking about how everyone else was doing and I was like, oh shit, and I've got me to think about. Like, It's almost like you just put yourself on the back burner. Well, and you forget. That like, shows, like, whenever I'd see you, if you were competing, it's hud up. And it's yeah. like, I think it's, you've got, well, you've got enough yeah. talking to clients, let alone talking to anyone else. Yeah. You can't deal with it. it, is, it is you've got a social cool. battery, and you've got to think, even as a coach, that drains because yeah. you're doing 20 looms a day, yeah. you're talking to people on WhatsApp, you don't want to reply Constantly. to another text, yeah. you don't want to speak to, or at a show, you hi, 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 you get home and you're just slumped. Yeah. Do that every single week and you are burnt out. Yeah. Especially if you're prepping. Uh, well, you chose to do it, mate. Yeah. But like, if you were to, you, if you were to prep again, which obviously you will, would, would you pick like earlier shows? Yeah, I said dinner. I think I'd yeah. try and like, have it so I'm not competing at the same time as as many clients, That's or what I'll do. maybe even pick less shows. Like one fed stick to yeah, kind of maybe go like now. what? What would you? What fed would you go as a, probably as a natural now? And you're with your clients. Who? What fed is your favourite? The WMBF. The WMBF. You think standards yeah. best? Yeah, by a mile. Run best. Uh, I wouldn't say. I'd say the standard at the Worlds is the best by a mile. Like compared to the natural Olympia, yeah, the WMBF yeah, Worlds was, was a joke. But show. what I will say is. The UK FBA Worlds in June was tenfold better than the Natural Olympia. Yeah. So I'll see what it's like. I think because I'll be going to qualify if JB. Better than the Natural Olympia. Well, the that's UK why Brits win a lot. The, but yeah, then the obviously UK when FBA it's the standard. pro ranks, they, yeah. they didn't look at yeah. the Brits and it was absolutely biased beyond belief. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone it was American who won or like Italian who had a huge affiliation that's to it. That's another reason I don't think Whereas UK FBA, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, and even Romania FBA is was good. better than Natural Olympia. Yeah, the, I think the UK really FBA better. is really, really good. I think it's realistically the best in England. Yeah. WMBF UK is great, and it's like working its way up to that. I think, but when you look at the worlds, like the IMBA, PMBA versus the WMBF, it's night and day. Yeah. like ridiculous yeah. difference. DFAC very good. BMBF the the, the DFAC is like, in my opinion, the probably the best athletes, like the biggest. I don't like BMBF though. The way it's run. Yeah, that's I, what lets that down. I'm sure I, yeah. great, but BMBF. Is, I think the BMBF uh, is probably the the least well run, and in my experience, the least regimented with testing. So, if we're looking at like pros and cons of all of them, I, I would say that WMBF with the worlds with that like step up is probably the best. Yeah, UK FBA is probably the best at the minute in England. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I think BMBF is going to struggle. And then ninety two bros. Ninety two bros is <laughs> awful. Good for girls, good for bikini and figure, in my opinion. But from boys, I think it's awful. Yeah. Because you, you look at natural, the other natural shows from bikini, especially bikini, 
they're not bikini athletes. Yeah, I, I get what Whereas you're saying. Figures yeah. obviously good in UKIP <coughs> and BMBF, but I think for, for I think for them two class, I think they're so popular as well. And you have got a stacked out class every single time in terms of bikini. I think bikini, and you've also got a route to that natty pro card as a as a female. I think they're good, but I think for males, I think it's a I think it's shambolic. Yeah. It's, it's a joke, and that little was a joke as well in terms of well, the athletes there. Yeah, I've, I've been to pretty much every men's physique show with Jack this year, assisted and non assisted. I've seen one of them. Yeah. They've got super droll delts and chest, the bursting yeah. full, and uh, there's no testing whatsoever. Yeah. One person, like Joe got tested, no one else got tested. Really? Yeah. It's weird. Because he started hitting most muscular. So yeah, because yeah, he was like veins. grunting backstage. Yeah. And they were like, they've, seen the, yeah. they've seen the accusations online. Yeah. Yeah. They've seen. It's all the real. Hattersley got chest tested at the regional, and no one else in physique did, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. It's like one it's person. Weird, it's, yeah, they, I think they do literally just pick one randomly, they just grab someone. Yeah. Like, he looks all right. We'll, we'll test him. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. That'll be that. Wrap it up. Yeah. Thanks, mate. It's been really good. Yeah. It's been really, really good. We'll definitely get you on. Like, again, if five you... years time. Five yeah. Do yeah. a catch up. I'll no, we we think, we <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would be. Yeah. 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 When we get the. Because we're going to upgrade the studio and maybe get like some sofas and get some extra mics and new cameras and stuff. We'll mm. get all of the Team CVC on. Yeah. yeah definitely. That'd, That'd be pretty cool. That would be good. good. Yeah. That would be good. Right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. Everyone enjoy. I hope everyone enjoyed. Story tags. Please tag Tim. We sometimes yeah. get like story tags. Sometimes and they'll they just, even tag. just tag one of us. Yeah. And they'll, yeah, t- yeah, yeah. No, it's like, they'll tag me and not Finn or Finn. Why? Not me. And it's like I'm literally on it? the screen. Like thanks for the podcast, Finn or Reese. It's like <laughs> Finn's there as well. So tag Tim. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Sweet. <laughs>